G'day guys, Luke here from Tech Blokes, and Beta 4 is officially available for Android Q. And in the video, I'm just going to go through all of the recent updates and talk to you about some of the cool changes that have come out with Beta 4. Now, just so you know, I have been using Beta 3, and I made a video about that, and uh, it's actually been really good. It's been very stable. I haven't had any app crashes. It's been very quick, very fluid. And uh, I've been really enjoying the dark mode that they released with uh, Beta 3. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But um, just so you guys know, the update to go from Beta 3 to Beta 4 was uh, 380 meg. And it took about 25 minutes to download that and install it on this device. The build number is QPP4.190502.01. And uh, some, some guys obviously like to know that so they know what build number I'm talking about here in the video. So first of all, as I mentioned, I've got dark mode running and the first thing I noticed once I've booted up into beta 4 is the actual search bar is dark down the bottom here. I'll bring that up so you can see that on the screen. There we go. So it's a, a dark um, search bar and that changes obviously if you flick back to light mode. So that's the first change I noticed. Um, the actual design language is a little tiny bit different. The, um, the day and the date and just up here, the degrees today is a little bit bolder actually quite like it looks really good the notification tray all looks very very much the same as beta 3 but I did notice just one little tiny minor change is the uh, music player is a tiny bit bigger and there are some minor changes to the always on display as well so you'll notice that when you lock the screen uh, the, the time is just a tiny bit bolder and if you have music playing, I'll just start that one up now. If you have music playing and you lock this, you can see that the time has become smaller and uh, the actual music app icon is now missing. Okay, so that is one change that has come about with the always on display. Now, one thing that's um, been released this time around is dynamic system updates. Um, since Android Pi, uh, Google did announce that we had Project Treble where getting updates and all those type of things is going to be a lot quicker. There is, I'll leave a screenshot below where you can go and click that. And you, you can see that some people have that option available where they can swipe down and they can see that dynamic update available as an option that they can download and try and you can try out new versions of Android as they become released, which is fantastic. And I really like that they're doing that. I think that's gonna help a lot of people um, that wanna try those new options out. Now, um, as we mentioned in the previous video, we've got swipe gestures now to go back and forward between menu options. And uh, it was only, it was available pretty much system-wide, but some apps were a bit buggy and they didn't work very well. This one here, the Files app was it was okay, but it just didn't work as I would expect. So now when you swipe, I'll bring this up, when you swipe in from the left of the screen, you can see that animation pop up. And you also have that same option when you do it from the right as well. There we go. So um, the gestures are really good. They're very fluid. They're not quite on the same level as iOS yet, but as somebody who was an iOS user swapping to um, Android and using that for some time now, I really appreciate that Google's gone to the effort to put swipe gestures back into their operating system. I've got it on my S9 as well, but yeah, it just it doesn't feel as good as what this does. I, I think they're doing a really good job of making sure that it, it works system-wide and that it is intuitive. You know, just simple things like for me, if I'm typing a message and I want to go back to see the new message I've got, it's just a simple swipe from the side of the screen and then you know, you're back into that menu again, which is really nice. Now, you'll also notice that the gesture pill or the navigation pill is um, a different size this time around. It's actually a bit smaller. And to be honest, I'm actually glad that they've shrunk it because uh, I, I thought it was too big in beta three and um, I'm really loving the fact that it looks a lot smaller and it looks a lot neater. So um, that's one minor change. Some people have been sharing a screenshot where this is actually gone, the, the pill isn't there when you're back on the home screen. However, on my build, or maybe I've, I've got a setting turned on, this is on by default at the moment. So one other thing that is now available 
uh, is what's called pixel presence. And essentially it's like a smart lock. So if you're at home and when you're at home, you're connected to a Bluetooth speaker or another Bluetooth device, um, that's gonna be rebranded as pixel presence. So maybe you're connected to your Google Home or uh, your Google Hub, whatever it is, and you just want your phone to be readily, easily unlocked, etc. Um, that's now called Pixel Presence. And I feel like Google is gonna be making more devices um, in the coming years that are gonna use that functionality. So um, I can't show you that at the moment because I don't own uh, a device that's gonna allow you to do that. And um, it's, it doesn't appear to be built fully into this beta 4 at the moment. Now we've also got some changes to notifications. So we've got adaptive notifications, which is quite cool. So if we jump into settings, Okay, so in the notification section, you notice we've got this little animation up the top here. And this has come from beta three where you can you can have two different variations of notifications. So you can have like the gentle notification where it's just essentially like, you know, it's gonna let you know you've got a notification, but it's not gonna like buzz your phone um, and annoy you. And they'll often just appear as just a little icon in the swipe down notification tray. So, you know, maybe you don't want to get annoyed by Snapchats or whatever it is while you're at work. You can turn those um, gentle notifications on. And this, this sort of little, little animation here is new that, that wasn't there in beta 3. I've noticed we've got automatic prioritization. I'm guessing Google would essentially just say, okay, well, we know that calls, text messages, and maybe emails um, are high priority. So. We're going to make sure you get notifications for those, but you might want to turn that off and you can actually go in and do your own um, notifications and put prioritization around which ones are more important to you. So that's really cool. Um, suggested action and replies. So when you get a text message, which I will do from my other phone right now, it's the different notification, the different replies and smart replies that would pop up in that notification tray. So you may not want to have that enabled. You might just want to, you know, do what I did there when tap the notification and go into the app. I've been using those quite a lot and I actually really enjoy them. It's it's really handy when you just got to do like a three, two or three word reply. It makes the whole process uh, really quick and it's very intuitive. Now Bubbles is making a return and it was hidden in beta three where it was actually in the developer options. So now if we go into settings and we go to apps and notifications just up the top here. And then we go into the actual notification section. If you scroll down just a little bit and hit uh, advanced, you can see that bubbles is now an option here. So essentially what that means is it's gonna give you Facebook messenger type notification uh, that you can have like these floating bubbles that you can move around the screen. So I love that. I think that that is such a um, great feature that they're bringing to other apps. So like. For me, having a floating notification for just the standard messages app is gonna be so good. And I'm really looking forward to when they actually start rolling that out. Um, I have tried a few apps. I did try messages off screen and I couldn't get it to work for Bubbles, but um, this will be available when the full release of uh, Beta Q becomes available for us. So guys, there's another update called Face Authentication. And essentially what that is, it's gonna give us um, more options when it comes to using our face for maybe unlocking our device, but also for paying and logging into certain things. I've had a look and I couldn't find, I have noticed that somebody else on Reddit did did find the setting, but for some reason I can't find it on my device. <laughs> that is definitely coming. All right, guys, one thing I know a lot of people are gonna be really excited about is their handy like contextual rotation. So um, on Android Pi, on my Samsung device over here, when you turn the device, you get a little icon pop up in the bottom corner that essentially allows you to click that and the screen will rotate. So it doesn't do it without that. So maybe you're laying in bed and you're reading and you, I, know, I do this all the time. I have the device kind of like this with my head against a pillow and uh, I don't want the screen to rotate because I'm, I'm flicking through pages in a book. But now with the beta four, if we turn it and I'll bring this up so it's nice and close, you can see we've got that little icon, that contextual rotation button that we can turn on and off, which is really, really handy. So I'm really glad that they've put that back. That's something I use all the time. So you've obviously got some new options with the colors there. So now we've got a total of uh, one, two, three. So I've obviously got some new color options. So we've got black, green, purple, cinnamon, ocean, space, and orchard. So the cinnamon is a little bit of a weird color. I don't really like that one very much. 
Um, Ocean is a nice one, it's very bright blue and obviously it's going to change all of your app colors, etc. There we go guys, that is a full recap of all of the new functionality coming to Android Beta 4, um, Android Q Beta 4. And uh, I, I'm really enjoying it so far, I actually can't wait for the full release to come out. So guys, tell me what you love about the update, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video, cheers.